Hi and welcome to another video by yours Nelly Paradox and today we're gonna be talking about how you can farm equipments in particular equipments that will assure that you get your T8 set as soon as possible or the same way I have been using to assure that I'm having a surplus on my unbound diamonds nearly all the times. So what I'm talking about is basically a technique I discovered quite early on and I've been trying it out and I see that this is just not something random in it. It's actually a proven in way of farming items that you can sell on auction house. So just to give you the quick tips before I will actually go and illustrate, I'll just do my normal runs. I want you to know this before we get started. So we will be go going into the dungeons and then go into west, no, I'm sorry, east Arken and do all these runs and flip with real diamonds on equipments that you can sell on auction house. So basically, these are the two dungeons you will see a higher frequency of T5 items. And if you know the market price of the T5 items, you can go into a profit by uh, flipping the card for a low cost and sell it for a high price on the auction house. So in order to make this work, all you have to do is go to Auction House and start searching the items. For instance, what is the price of a Golden Axe? That's a T5 Axe, so we'll get it up and we can see that if I get a T5 Axe today, I shouldn't flip it for more than 100 diamonds. And then you would basically go through with, you would look at what's the price of a crossbow and when you have gone through all these items and like especially gone for maybe the necklaces and stuff we'll check a gore necklace you start to understand what the price of things on your server and here you can actually see how someone is selling the fable gore necklaces the t5 for 80 and 99 i want to show you how i the other day sold the very same items here for 200 diamonds and now they're up on the market for $8.99. This means that I shall not flip this item unless I get it for like 20 diamonds. So now you understand the concept of understanding the market prices. Now we're actually gonna get into the dungeons and show you how to do this. And to make it the most effective way, I mentioned you that we're going to go into East Arken and do these for the T5 equipments. I'm actually going to make sure that we have extra tickets. So if you have an event undergoing, you want to open the upper menu and treasure trove. And from your medals from this event, you want to buy the story dungeon tickets. You could, if you want to, buy like rare crystals or scroll protection or even like the higher items. But if you just want to rush your items to T8, because the stats you do get from a T8 weapon or T8 equipment, it's going to be higher than any upgrade level then you just go for the story dungeon tickets and that's what i've been doing let's see now we have two and i want six of them so we're going to go here and buy four more okay purchase nice now we've got six of those and let's see we have 12 minutes on our elixirs i don't really need elixirs for those but it's just going to make things run smoother so i have given you the way to do it and if you uh, understood by my <laughs> explanation then you don't really need to see what's happening next but now i'm going to show you who uh, haven't done this before what i'm actually meaning with flipping cards so flipping cards is basically the reward you get at the end you can flip and to assure it's going to be an unbound item you have to do the actual flip if you don't pay any diamonds at all it's actually going to be locked and you cannot sell it whatsoever so we always have to be looking here at the card screen and see if we can make a profit from the cards. Uh, no, we cannot make a profit here. So in this scenario, I just pick any card and hope for the best. Angel Crossbow is exactly what I wanted for my own usage. And then we go into the next dungeon. The most prof profitable way to do this is the time you see two or three more T5 items that you can sell for a high price. That is when you want to go for a full flip or maybe you just decide to take the 2050 diamonds option. Okay, let's finish these off. And we'll kill the con. Go for it. And one hit. 
Let's see, what are the cards now? I could have checked what the price of the uh, Stitch suit is. We're going to be doing that when we leave this dungeon because um, you see right now I can select one more card for um, 20 diamonds and if we would realize that maybe the Stitch suit was on 150 plus then it would be a safe uh, chance to go there but now I actually don't know what the prices are today on the Stitch suit so we will see if I missed out on a profit from not trying. Yes, you see, these were actually on 200, so it would have been a good risk for me to actually go over and invest. And now you sort of see how I uh, lost a profit. Even if I selected all the cards available for 150 diamonds, I would have gone in a 4 diamonds profit. But as I wasn't knowledge, I didn't have uh, knowledge enough, then we're just going to face the loss. All right, so let's go into another story dungeon. Oh, I don't really need the CP boost. It's just, um, what do you call it? It's a habit of a mind to always activate it. Here we go. Gather all these pigs up. I'm gonna show you a tactic I'm doing on most dungeons. Now when you see it says defeat the boss and to the left, if you press auto it's actually gonna run up to the boss or start killing it if you are standing on top of it so basically toggle on off the auto when you have kill all the minions let's see what are the cards here's the t5 crossbow that's uh, something I want for my own use so we're gonna be trying to get it now I selected one card for 20 diamonds and got an angel and now I'm gonna select another one and I just got this Fable Golden Crossbow. It's unbound because we paid for diamonds and the total price was 20 plus 50. This is a total price of 70 diamonds and I know that the market price of this one is 120 diamonds which means that we have just made a profit of 50 diamonds plus. Boom. And then we kill this off and we press auto and it's going to start walking to the boss. And then we spin to win. Okay, there are no cards here that's going to be worth getting. So we'll just take any card and then we will pick up the items, a full bag. Let's dismantle stuff. There we go. And pick them up. Oh no, I don't need this one. Stupid habits. Gather them all up. We can do a bit of fun. We'll take all of them to the boss and you'll see what I mean. Right now I don't have a auto toggle in, but if you stand exactly where the boss is gonna be spawning, like right here, you kill it, and then you press auto. We're gonna be attacking the boss during the cut screen. Here's a stitch suit again, and a misty suit. This means that if I manage to pick a card that is one of the bad cards, we're gonna be a bigger pr uh, what do you call that word? Uh, probability that we're gonna get a good card. So, this was one of the trash cards which means that there are two good cards with a 33% chance to get. So I'm gonna go and pay 20 for the first one. And we got the Stitch Suit. So right now we have made an approximately 170 diamonds profit. I could go and try it for Misty Suit, but um, I'm not entirely sure that the demand is too big on Misty Suits today. So I'm actually gonna settle with the profit we did from this uh, flip alone and you will notice what I mean like we basically If we press sword, it's gonna jump on the first screen We basically unlocked the stitch suit if we had gotten it without paying any diamonds It had been locked and I would have to dismantle it But right now it's actually unlocked and we can go up and put it in an auction house for Let's put it for 189 and see if it will sell So we'll go to the selling and put it for 189 
And this is what I've been doing with my other items you see here. I have like a golden axe, I have another two Mr. Suits already. So I could have made a T6 Mr. Um, T6 uh, unbound item and sold, but I'm not really too keen about doing that. So we'll go into store again and here's where the extra dungeon ticket comes in. Now we want to use uh, or extra tickets to do the six times a day. Not only will you be able to find more items for yourself this way, you will also be able to find more items. Did I just not kill that guy? Die. He must have blocked it. But you will also find more items that you can sell on the auction house and that's always good, especially on new servers when prices are up in the roof. You always want to do this. And now I press auto. There we go. Let's see what cards we're getting now. Stitch Gauntlets could be a high price, but the probability of getting it is going to be too low, so I'm actually going to skip it and just get into a new dungeon. Vigor Rings, Demolia Rings, and Intel Rings are most likely the items you always want to flip on. Make sure you know what the total price that can go on the market is, but these are like safe picks no matter what. And we kill them off, press auto, and it starts walking. And spin to win. Here's a golden axe. Uh, I was trying to sell one for 119. So if I don't get it on the first one, we could right now try to gamble. But if I fail with it, it's going to be a cost for 170 diamonds rather than the 150 first choice. So uh, here is always a situation when you can decide whether you want to go for the risk and get a. a and get a good profit out of it, but I'm actually not going to do that and just settle with the current profits we have and continue the journey of trying to get a good item. And if you're still watching, I'm basically going to be doing the very same here, but I want to show you how you can get your very first uh, diamonds because uh, basically to start doing this you need more than 150 diamonds to make a full flip. And the two ways you can be doing that is to open the shop and down here you have an earn option. At the earn they're gonna give you uh, surveys to do or maybe you're gonna be doing uh, creating missions in another game and that way you can generate your very first diamonds without investing. You can also do um, the missions in Tomb of Anku. If you team up and uh, put the loot on uh, round robin, you will actually share the loot from the final boss and here you can get items to sell on auction house. You can also, uh, if we go to challenges and do world bosses, if you kill these you get unbound items that you can sell on auction house, but the real money maker is gonna be when you can do the dungeons and actually get all of these um, items for yourself. And uh, I haven't really mentioned it, but you always want to do it on Hell Mode. And you can enter Hell Mode when you got a T7 weapon and a T6 suit. So you're going to be like wearing T6 armor, but a T7 weapon, then it's going to be quite easy. And if you do it in town, you don't really notice it right now, but if you exit every time, you're going to fill up your HP. So you don't have to wait for your potions or waste a uh, revive stone. Basically, just exit the dungeon while standing in town and it will fill up your HP. Let's see... No, there is only one epic item of value. And I don't want to flip for that one because it's a T4. All right, now we cleared all six entrances there, so we have three to go in the canes. You 
you could arguably do this in uh, West Darken as well, the higher instance, but I haven't really seen any better drop rates than the canes and the wilds are having at the moment, so I just stick to doing it in these two dungeons. And it's also not too expensive to only buy six extra store dungeon tickets a day. But as soon as we finish the next two one, I'm gonna wrap up this video and just make a brief summary of what you need to keep in mind. Okay, we got a stitch helmet here. I'm not entirely sure what the price is, so I'm not gonna flip for it. Two more entries. Oh crap. Let's just equip my T7 bow and we're gonna be able to do this. I ran out of elixirs. Here we go. Gather them all up. Now we can actually see what I was saying before that my HP is dropping, but when I leave the dungeon and go into flurry, it's gonna fill up itself. And spin to win. Hyper gauntlets. Hmm. Sometimes you're going to come across a card selection with three T5s and when that happens that's when you have to take the full flip. I haven't seen in a scenario today uh, but that's when you're going to make the most diamonds out of it. All right. And come on, spin twin. Collect all the monsters. Defeat the boss, press auto. Here we go. Here's actually a rather decent card selection and now I hope to select the stammering first because that way I could possibly get the uh, items of value for a cheaper price. But now we got the golden axe and that was actually the only thing I did not want to pick first. And it's going to be bound now, so if I try to do anything else, we're going to be losing out on the profit that was available to us. So I'm just going to press receive and consider this um, not necessarily a loss, but we um, are not going to make as big as a profit out of the probability ratios. So we're going to go ahead and dismantle it, if I can find it, sort. It doesn't want to sort for whatever reason. Hmm, must be a visual bug. I can't even see it in my own bag. Is it here? That's why I couldn't see it. <laughs> Full bag. All right. And now you see it's locked, so we just go ahead and dismantle it and use it for our own skills instead. But it's a pity because it could have been. Uh, uh, 100 diamonds for me. So now we cleared both of these. And to conclude this video, always make sure to have more than, I would say, 700 diamonds for this technique. Then you can do a full flips uh, nearly all the six runs if you encounter such a scenario. You can make your first diamonds by doing the missions or doing the earn option in a chain in the shop one. But we're not going to be doing that. So this is basically the strategy most of the top people on the leaderboard have been using to sell items on the auction house. But there's nothing else I want to cover. If there's anything else you would like to see in my future videos, make sure to use the comment section down below. Also, if you have any unanswered question you would like me to answer, just leave them there as well. But otherwise, I appreciate you watching my videos and I will see you in the next one.